Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and in this video I'm going to show you how I organize my sticker collection. If you haven't watched my stationery organization video where I organize all of my supplies and pen collection that you can see in the background, it will be in the cards and in the description, but in this video I'm just going to focus on how I organize my loose stickers and my sticker sheets because I have a lot of them and they are all over the place. This process took me a very long time to do, so let's just start with the whole process of organizing my stickers. So the first thing that I did was display all of my stickers on my desk. I have a lot of stickers in these small packs that I bought from AliExpress and Wish and other loose stickers that my pen pal sent me. And the key to organize something is to always take everything out and display everything on a surface so you can see everything that you have. So I took all of the goodies, all of my pen pal letters, small organizers and other boxes and I added them into a pile on my desk. I also took a little bit of advantage of this process to organize any post-it notes and loose paper that I had for my pen pal letters, so I put those on the side. Then it was time to organize my stickers by category. I prefer to have my stickers organized by sets or categories so they are easy to find when I'm doing pen pal letters or journaling, but you can organize your stickers by color or brand. I just put all of the different stickers into smaller piles. For example, I put all of my plant stickers together, divided by the different sets, animal stickers on the other side, circle stickers separated, people stickers and vintage stickers, and basically like this I can later on organize them in a better way, but they are all separated by a category, if that makes sense. The footage for this whole video is sped up because this took me a very, very long time to do, but I find satisfying seeing everything come together, so I hope you enjoy the time lapses anyway. Now that I have all of my stickers organized into smaller piles, I can actually start organizing them. I'm using an A5 size binder that I got from the local supermarket. It's very durable and quite thick, so it can handle all of my stickers. And to actually organize them, I'm using these A5 punched pockets that come in packs of 25, also from the supermarket, and it's where I'm going to stick all of my stickers in. If you have searched for sticker organization videos on YouTube, you may have seen some people sticking their stickers onto parchment paper or making their own notebooks or having these folders with the punch pockets already in them, but I couldn't find those in Portugal anywhere, so I had to work with what I had. So now what I'm going to do is taking a punch pocket out, take a pile of stickers and stick them onto the punch pocket so they are clearly visible and organized. I filmed the entire process and everything took me two days in total to complete. It's definitely easier to do this when you have a small sticker collection, so I kind of wish that I had done this like a year ago so I wouldn't spend two days sticking stickers onto some plastic. I'm not going to link every single sticker that I have because that would take me years and also because some stickers were sent to me by my pen pals, so I don't really know where they got them.
this process was very time consuming and very tedious to do as you can imagine but in the end it's so amazing to have all of my stickers visually displayed on the binder so when I'm doing a pen pal letter I can see clearly what stickers I have, what stickers I can send to my pen pals, what stickers I want to use on the letter and what stickers I want to send them as freebies, how many stickers of the same design I have and also if I'm running low on some specific stickers and I have to purchase them. Just to answer some questions that some of you asked me on my Instagram when I took Instagram stories of organizing my stickers, the stickers were pretty easy to stick and take out of the punch pockets. Some stickers are more stickier than others, but they were all pretty easy to take out of the plastic. For my pen pal letters, I would just take them out of the plastic and stick them into a piece of thick parchment paper so they wouldn't rip out the paper and my pen pals can reuse them. None of the stickers that I have taken out of the plastic so far had lose their stickiness, so they are fine. And none of the stickers that I used so far ripped up the plastic as well, so um, this can happen, obviously, but if you're gentle with the stickers when taking them out, I think it's fine. In the future though, I'll have a binder just for sticker sheets because as you'll see in the end when I do the flip through, this binder is already full so I'm going to have a binder for loose stickers and another binder just for sticker sheets and the good thing about this is that I can just take the punched pockets that have the sticker sheets and move them to the new binder. I don't have to take them out and put them somewhere else. In the end, I ended up using 75 punched pockets for all of my stickers and I have even more stickers to organize now as I'm editing this video and the logical way is to use the stickers before receiving more stickers so I'm trying to include more of them on my journal and pen pal letter so I can kind of stick the new stickers onto the place of the ones that I already used, if that makes sense. So because some stickers are translucent as you might have seen and you can kind of see the stickers that are stuck on the other side of the plastic, I added a white sheet of paper in all of the punch pockets so I can see everything clearly and not be bothered with the stickers on the other side. For the sticker sheets, I also added the white sheet of paper between them because I can take out the sticker sheet on one side and the ones on the other side will not come out of the punch pocket which is really nice. I tried to add as many sticker sheets as possible onto the plastic but not overlapping them so I can clearly see all the stickers and I just put together the ones that have doubles. I also had to cut some of them to fit the punch pockets a bit better but besides that it was pretty easy to organize them. Just doing a quick flip through of all the sheets of stickers organized. For me this was the most affordable way to organize them and you can always move them around and change the binder or if you don't want a binder you can just have them in like a box or loose. It's really up to you but this way of organizing them it's really really useful. I'm going to link down below all of the stores where I normally purchase stickers from. Some of these stickers were gifted to me by my pen pals, others I purchased from Aliexpress or Wish, but most of them are from independent stores and Etsy, so I'll make sure to link the stores down below so you can search for them and see if you like them. I highly recommend you to try this method to organize your stickers. Eventually, 
your sticker collection will grow and the feeling of knowing that you didn't see that sticker that you could use on a letter or on a page because they were not organized is the worst so take some time now to just organize your stickers if you have any questions please leave them down below in the comments and i'll see you in my next video bye guys